Oh, man. Uh, first, Ben, hell of a fighter, man. A uh, couple of spots I thought I had him, but he just kept going. I got karate chopped in my throat in the first round, and no excuses, man. I took my head off the guy. He did what he had to do, and hell, it was a great fight, and I'm ready to do it again anytime they're ready. So. Did you feel like you um, – obviously, you came on in the last couple rounds. What was the story of the first couple rounds where he seemed to have – be in control? Yeah, I, I have that problem a lot. I just don't get started. I'm not, it's something I'm trying to work on, and I, I don't have an answer for that, but I'd like to just go out there and get going right from the start. But I didn't. I just got my ass kicked for the first two rounds and then decided I'd get fired up. So I don't know. Um, wow. It was – the whole night was amazing. The undercard could have been a main card. Um, the main card was just packed full of action – Action-packed fights all the way through. Um, the Jensen and the Crunkleton fight was was amazing. I mean, uh, all of them were good, but the one you're talking about, I don't I don't know what to say about that fight. That fight was uh, back and forth. It was tough, and like I said in the ring, you know, me me and Donald, we have our personality conflicts, but I will never deny the fact that he's a fighter's fighter. He he wears his heart in his sleeve, and he he fights like to the bitter end, and. Um, Ben Henderson showed me a lot tonight, too. The fact that he was able to get out of some of those submission attempts, I, I couldn't believe it. And in the first round, Don was saying that he was a slow starter. I mean, he was all over all over his neck in that first round. And I actually gave the first round to Donald just with all the submission attempts. But uh, it, was, it was a crazy night. Um, I learned a lot about my opponent, that's for sure. And... Uh, I learned that he does get tired as the rounds as the rounds go further and further. He gets more and more tired, so that's that's something good to know to go into a training camp. Donald, how did you feel about the score of the fight as it was going? Uh, did you feel like you were down three rounds after three, or did you feel like there yeah, might be a I chance? Yeah, I asked my coach, I said, "What round are we in?" He said, "We're in four. I was like, "I better get it going." So yeah, definitely, man. He, he, I think he won the fight. I mean, some people will say it might have gone the other way, but nah, he. He, he definitely won the fight. So. And what about the submission attempts that you had? I mean, it, it, it seemed pretty deep. Did you, do you know why you weren't able to finish it? Was it uh, a technique issue? Was it his toughness? What, what, what happened in there? Yeah, what, in the guillotine, I, I felt him gargling one time, but damn, some bitch just kept holding on there, didn't he? And then one time, I feel like he was knocked out on top of me, and I was like, looking at the ref, like, what? Nah, so, but he, just, he just kept coming around, so it was good. <laughs> it, it's, it's really hard. It's really hard, and it does light a fire because – you know, it's when I beat Rob, they people love me. When I beat Marcus Six, they love me. But when I fought the Cowboy and it didn't go down like those past two fights, I didn't win by knockout. I didn't win in some fabulous, fantastic fashion. It's like they all kind of turned on me. It's like the fans are really fickle, and it's, they love you when you're on top. But um, it's it, it has motivated me, and I wouldn't say the fans so much and all the boos and everything. It's the fact that. I, I've been out for so long. Not very many people are doing what they love to do. And I can honestly say every morning I wake up, I love what I do. I love working for the WEC. I love fighting. I love competing. And, you know, whether, whether I'm fighting Donald, fighting Ben Henderson, fighting whoever, I love to fight. It's what I was born to do.